Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about how to create precipitation and temperature maps in ArcGIS. To do that we should have climate data for our study area and here I'm going to use three weather stations climatic data. For three years in 1996, 2006 and 2016, three decades and here in another Excel file I took the temperature and precipitation data for the three years and here you can see the weather stations and their latitude and longitude values and uh, by opening ArcMap we can display the weather stations locations by going to file and uh, adding XY data you can display the locations of your weather stations like this and uh, after that we are going to open our Excel file which contains the temperature and precipitation data here you can see the object ID field and this is going to be our matching field and here you can also see the object ID field and by going to join in empty places we can show the object ID field which exists in two tables and we should go to validate join and press close and press OK and the attribute table now has the data of Excel file and the next thing we are going to do is going to spatial analysis tools and go to interpolation and we are going to use IDW interpolation method to predict values for precipitation and temperature of unknown points by using known values of the three weather stations here we are going to insert our export our weather stations data set and uh, here our Z value field is going to be our precipitation data that was captured in 1996 and here we should change the number of points to three as we have only three weather stations and we should go to environments and for now for extent we can display the DM data and we should go to raster analysis and our mask should be the DM data too and press OK and uh, click OK and here is our output and uh, we can change the data type and uh, as the values of precipitation don't vary very much we can class classify them Uh, we can put 12 and uh, we can change the classification method to manual to insert our own break values and here I'm inserting my <coughs> precipitation rate values like this and once you finish press OK and you can choose certain color ramp for precipitation and press OK and the next thing we are going to do is go to extraction of spatial, spatial analysis tools and open extract by mask and our input raster should be our IDW and here our mask data should be our polygon, our study area 
and go to environments and processing extent extent should be polygon or steady area and raster analysis should be the polygon or steady area too and click OK and OK and here to avoid inserting the value ranges that we have just uh, inserted we can go to the IDW dataset and we can save the data as a layer file here 17 and press save and by going the extracted data set we can change the data type to classified and we can import the symbology information that we have just save it as layer file and we can show it here and press OK and here it automatically adds the symbology information as this one and press OK so here you can see the precipitation here it means there is more precipitation and here low and we'll repeat the same process for the years 2006 and 2016 so we have then the same operation for the two other remaining years and here you can see the output maps for 2006 and 2016 and now we can work on creating temperature map to create temperature maps we, we again go to IW and uh, we should show our weather stations data set here and uh, here our Z value field is going to be the temperature map for 1996 and uh, here we again insert 3 and go to environments processing extent and extent should be the data and we should go to raster analysis and our mask should be the data as well and press ok and ok and here is our output and as we can see here in excel file the temperature ranges from 13.9 to 21.5 and we are going to use the same interval for these values by going to symbology tab and here we are going to use 16 classes and we, we can change the classification method to insert our own values like this once we have done press OK and we can choose certain color ramp for the temperature and press OK and the next thing is extraction by by mask and uh, here we can insert the IDW for temperature and the mask data is going to be polygon go to environments and go to raster analysis and OK so here you can see other temperature maps thank you very much for watching